Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Tab back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're going to be talking about how to qualify for the 250K tournament. Now, there's a lot that goes into this video. There's lineup suggestions. There's how to score more points. There's what exactly you need to do. All of it. So whether you're a comp player actually that have done this in the past, you probably want to watch this video. Or if you're completely new to the game but think you're good at the game and want to compete in the 250k tournament, watch this as well. Before I dive any further, man, if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. So here you guys need to know. We're going to be breaking down all this. Then we're going to be following this link to, uh, to even more. But here's what it says. First things first, you do have to play some My Team Unlimited. You need to reach the Emerald tier. Now, I, that's not hard. You win a few games, you're going to reach the Emerald tier. I don't know exactly how many, but you just need to play a little bit of My Team Unlimited. Win or lose, you can reach that uh, the Emerald tier. Now, there's for both current and next gen. So whether you still are on last gen, you can compete for 250. Or if you're on the next gen console, you can compete anyways. The game date's here October 15th, here in a couple weeks. Then there's one on November 26th. Then there's also one on January 7th, as well as February 18th. And then the final tournament days with the finals on there. Uh, obviously, you guys can see the grand prize. Let's click this link and then break down exactly what we see there. So we just kind of scrolled through and talked about those. And then it basically says, do you have what it takes to win 250k is up for grabs to the best of uh, the best in my team? Two tracks again, one per console gen. We knew that, so five thousand total dollars in that. Obviously, second place does, or five hundred thousand total dollars. Second place gets fifty thousand. Here's what you can see. Okay, let's break this down. To qualify for the My Team Unlimited tournament, you'll need to reach the Emerald tier. We know that. It says, remember your tier and unlimited resets after the start of each season. So every season you're gonna have to do that. Here's what's actually gonna be happening during quals. First thing says, play until you lose. Now. Some tips and tricks right now. If they don't fix the close app thing, in which if you close the app, you don't get a loss. If they don't fix that, use that, okay? And I'm telling you guys that, why? Because you guys need to know. Now, they'll probably fix it before quals. I'm almost 100% sure, because normally there's a game update before quals. But if they don't, and you're losing at the end of the game, you can close app, and at this, as it stands right now, you'll get another opportunity uh, to to compete. Uh, you won't get any points for that, but I mean, again, this could be patched. But as it stands right now, you don't get a loss for that. Play until you lose. Earn points based on how well you play. Get bonus points for beating teams with better cards than yours. Now, one thing I suggest is only running a ten-man lineup because, for example, in my lineup right here. If I put all golds at the end of my bench, they're not even the worst golds, but if I put all golds at the end of my bench, I'm a 90 overall. Now, if I change that around and put all diamonds at the end of my bench in the last three spots, then all of a sudden I'm a 92 overall. Now, why does that matter? Because that adjusts how many points you get for every single win. So it's four minute quarters, guys. If you're using all, if you want to use all 13 guys, I'm not telling you it's going to be make or break. But one thing I definitely recommend is only use a 10 man squad to make your overall just that little bit lower. So then if the, a team is, let's say a 93 overall and yours is a 90 overall, you'll get bonus points. Okay. It says earn prizes based on your final ranking. So similar to two years ago, I think, uh, I think it was two years ago, you got prizes in 250k. Now it was like an Evo card and something else, but Hopefully this year, if you do, you know, get that top place, you get a super good prize. It says top four finishers earn spots in the elimination tournament. If winners already qualified, uh, they can improve their seed. And then and that's basically what it says on the console. So just some things to kind of keep in the back of your minds and think about here. Now, obviously, if you uh, if you live in Arizona, Connecticut, Maryland, and North, uh, in North Dakota, you will not be able to compete and some other stuff. Here you guys can see. Current gen, next gen, it's kind of what we saw last year. Contest requirements, obviously you need Xbox next or Xbox Gold, stuff like that. Pre-qualifying, don't worry about that. Here's what you guys need to know. It starts at 12 a.m. Pacific time, 1 Eastern time, and literally at noon Central time. You get four hours, and you, to see how many points you can rack up in those four hours, basically how many wins you can get in those four hours, you're going to have to sweat for four hours. And then there's some tiebreakers stuff, disqualification. Definitely read this, man. There were a lot of disqualifications last year. So 
how can people get disqualified? They can get disqualified whether they boost. Um, like if, let's say I was streaming, I was like, yo, hot dog one, two, three, match up with me. Let me get up a ton of points and then quit the game. That's boosting. Okay, you can't do that. It's all just basically random. Uh, again, I'm going to stream. So obviously, I mean, you can stream if you want. And then the actual tournament, here's what you guys can see. It's similar to last year outside of the top, the top two on every Wait, uh, yeah, the top two. So, like, the top two on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, the top two on Xbox, current gen, and next gen, all are going to advance to the finals. So, there's, I think, going to be, what, four total finalists? I do believe. Uh, or the, the finalists of of every gen. So, I guess there could be eight different people, Um, the way it makes it sound. I think there could be eight different people total. That's at a later date. So, that's something to kind of think about, and that's on March 8th. Team. And, and I think that's in person, right? I think they said that they were going to fly uh, or that's going to be in person. It says on an, 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 an on-site location. So there you guys go. It does say in person as well. So that's kind of what to look for. Look, all I'm going to say is last year, last year there was a way in which you could get people to play for you or whatever else. I don't know. If 2K didn't catch you. This year it's harder because before you can win any sort of money, I guess, you're going to have to play in front of everybody. So you can't really just have somebody play for you on your account. What do you guys exactly need to know? Well, here's this simple, here's a simple explanation, okay? You need to reach the Emerald tier. That's the first thing. It's for both current and next gen, okay? You need to know that. Take down the dates. Know exactly what time the dates are. Now, in the past, here's what's happened during actual calls. People have gotten air codes. There, two years ago, the qualifier didn't even start on time. They had to push it back a couple of hours. So just kind of be prepared for this thing to not go as smoothly as we all want or as we all expect. One last thing I'm going to say, okay? Mess around with your lineup, okay? Because two years ago, and, and the way they're dropping Evos, this is important to know. Two years ago, Evos were a cheat code to get your overall lower. So if you want your overall to be lower and you think that matters and that's going to help you qual, check out Evos, man. Because two years ago, I remember I used Terrence Ross in Evos. Why? Or Terrence Ross is an Evo. Why? Because his Evo basically registered as his, as his Ruby card and he was all the way up to a diamond and, and it basically made my overall lower. So just mess around with your lineup because you can maybe find ways around uh, around it to get your overall lower and help boost your points. So that's kind of my suggestions for you guys. You guys can, can let me know if you have any thoughts down below in the comments. Again, make sure you have that October 15th date down at 1 Eastern time because that's when the first qualifier is. That's going to wrap it up for my video. For all you guys wondering, you know, what's the first step? Reach that Emerald tier in my team unlimited and you're setting yourself up for success. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.